beauty of what we do is it's totally about real people hunting and fishing in Texas. When you come across a free range, beautiful, typical whitetail, even though it wasn't in Texas, it's, a, it's just, that's fascinating. And then to come across a hunter, who's just a good guy named Brad. <laughs> Give you the uh, short version of the story, which was, um, I was actually trying to win a hunt with Jackie Bushman, and the, the contest was to film your own amateur hunting video. I was out there trying to film an urban hunting for does video. Urban and hunting for does. Urban hunting for does. We like that in Texas. So I took my camera out there, some does were milling around, I hear something and I swing my camera over to the side and these antlers appear and it was at last light uh, the night before I actually ended up taking the deer and I, I was looking through the viewfinder and I couldn't believe what I was seeing so the deer walks in and out of the viewfinder because I'm going, oh my gosh, no. So it's like 200 yards away, 150 yards away. It walks across and uh, you can see about 45 seconds of video. I'll go ahead and upload it to the site when I get home. The moment I saw it, I said, I want that deer. I actually called my wife in my cell and said, I'm going to stay here. So I couldn't sleep. Of course, who could after seeing a deer like that? And I just knew it was the biggest deer I'd ever seen. I didn't try to uh, size it up at that time or anything like that. I just knew it was just big. huge. It was big. It, it was big. big. And, a big deer. A big deer. And so um, I uh, ended up... Uh, getting back out there insanely early. Um, ended up snort wheezing at the deer, and this was at dark, and I don't recommend anybody calling a deer before daylight because it could always respond to you. At daylight, some does were milling around, then the antlers, again, kind of glow in the dark, they show up. He's under my stand for like 15 or 20 minutes uh, before daylight. Like, then he disappears into a, a thicket after uh, he smelled some tanks that I had hanging up there in a stand behind me, and stopped him and he turned back into a thicket and disappeared for another 10 minutes and I'm waiting and waiting and he, when he comes out after a doe I let him have it. Only ran about 25 yards um, and uh, that was it. The deer was on the ground and I let out a big hallelujah as I ran over to it and um, I don't think I touched a run on the way down the ladder. The deer weighed about 265. It ends up netting 201 and 1 8 uh, Makes it a world record with a crossbow. Uh, should slide in the number 10 or 11 time uh, all-time spot in the B and C records. Um, and so I'm just blessed to even, I know most guys never see a deer like that, much less have a chance to take it. So I'm um, really privileged to have that opportunity. And You recommend the crossbow? What was the, I do. What uh, was the exact well, I, make I use model? A, I use a 10-point crossbow uh, now, a staff shoot for them. 10-point makes a fantastic crossbow. The, um, the crossbow is getting a bad rap right now across the internet and every place else. Uh, Ohio's had it for over 30 years. You could really tell it's damaging our deer hunting. So stay away from Ohio. You don't want to come there. Basically, you've got the same kind of archery range as you would with a compound bow, and that's what that's about. The advantage that it does provide is not having to have that big draw in front of a deer. It is an advantage, definitely. However, <coughs> ranges are the same, and, and you're not going to get that huge of an advantage out of it. But um, that's a whole nother subject, a whole nother topic. Um, uh, it's great. It's good to be here at the BNC event and be honored by that and all that. But more thrilling than this big deer was having either one of my daughters taking their first deer and uh, you can't replace that. So, and that's another point for the crossbow. Get them out there in early season when the weather's good. And uh, young girls, they can't pull a hunting weight bow if they tried. So, uh, so that's a good point for that. But anyway, um, good talking to you guys. Thanks for hearing the story. Thank you very much. Appreciate that.